Kate Gary Hudson, born April 19, 1979 1, is an American actress, author, and fashion entrepreneur. She rose to prominence for her performance in the film Almost Famous, 2000, for which she won a Golden Globe and was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Her other films include How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, 2003, Raising Helen, 2004, The Skeleton Key, 2005, You, Me and Dupree, 2006, Fool's Gold, 2008, Bride Wars, 2009, 9, 2009, Deepwater Horizon, 2016, Mother's Day, 2016, and Marshall, 2017. Hudson co-founded the fitness brand and membership program, Fabletics, operated by Just Fab. 23. In 2016, Hudson released her first book, Pretty Happy, Healthy Ways to Love Your Body, and in 2017, she released her second book, Pretty Fun, Creating and Celebrating a Lifetime of Tradition. Hudson was born in Los Angeles, California, the daughter of Academy Award-winning actress Goldie Hawn and Bill Hudson, an actor, comedian, and musician. 1. Her parents divorced when she was 18 months old and she and her older brother, actor Oliver Hudson, were raised in Snowmass, Colorado, and Pacific Palisades, California, by her mother and her mother's longtime boyfriend, actor Kurt Russell. 4. Hudson's ancestry is Italian, from her paternal grandmother, Hungarian Jewish, from her maternal grandmother, 567, and the remainder a mix of English and some German. 8 9. Hudson was raised Jewish, 1011, like her mother, she also practices Buddhism. 12. Hudson has stated that her biological father doesn't know me from a hole in the wall, and she considers Russell her father. 13. Hudson has described her mother as the woman that I've learned the most from, and who I look up to, who has conducted her life in a way that I can look up to. 14. She has four half-siblings, Emily and Zachary Hudson, from her biological father's later marriage to actress Cindy Williams, Lalania Hudson, from his relationship with another woman, 15, and Wyatt Russell, from her mother's relationship with Kurt Russell. In 1997, she graduated from Crossroads, a college preparatory school in Santa Monica. She was accepted to New York University, but chose to pursue an acting career instead of an undergraduate degree. 4. At age 11, Hudson performed on stage at the Santa Monica Playhouse. 16. She made her film debut in the dramedy Desert Blue, 1998, and subsequently appeared in the romantic comedy 200 Cigarettes, 1999. She took on the roles of a college student in the psychological thriller Gossip, the lesbian daughter of the titular character in the dramedy Dr. T and the women in one of the leading roles in the romantic comedy about Adam, all of which were released throughout 2000. 16. Her breakthrough came with the role of a veteran groupie in Cameron Crowe's semi-autobiographical dramedy Almost Famous, 2000. She hung in and had turned down leads in other movies just to play the part and soon obtained it because of her loyalty, according to Crowe. 16. For her performance, she won the Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. 4. Entertainment Weekly put it on its end of the decade, best of list, saying, this power ballad of a movie also happens to be Crow's greatest, and most personal, film thanks to the golden gods of Stillwater and their biggest fan, Kate Hudson's incomparable Penny Lane. 17. She worked hard in avoiding association with her well-known parents, as she did not want to be perceived as someone who rode on somebody's coattails. 4. In 2002, Hudson appeared in the remake of the historical romance The Four Feathers, as the fiancé of a young British officer, played by Heath Ledger. The film was panned by critics and had a lukewarm box office response. 18. In her next film, the romantic comedy How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, 2003, Hudson starred with Matthew McConaughey, as a writer for a women's magazine who starts dating a guy and eventually drives him away using only the classic mistakes women make in relationships. The film was a box office success, grossing over 100 million US dollars upon its release. She also starred opposite Naomi Watts in the Merchant Ivory film La Divorce, 2003, portraying a woman who, with her sister, dispute the ownership of a painting by Georges de la Tour with the family of her former brother-in-law. Entertainment Weekly gave the film a C rating and wrote, I'm disappointed to report that Hudson and Watts have no chemistry as sisters. 19. Her next romantic comedies, Alex and Emma, 2003, 
in which she played a stubborn stenographer, and Raising Helen, 2004, taking on the role of a young woman who becomes the guardian of her deceased sister's children, were released to varying degrees of success. In 2005, Hudson starred in the supernatural thriller The Skeleton Key, as a young hospice nurse who acquires a job at a New Orleans plantation home, and becomes entangled in a supernatural mystery involving the house. In its review, The Washington Post, describing her, wrote, Hudson, who dials back her native, Goldie given charm here to give Caroline a no-nonsense brusqueness, manages to convincingly convey a fearless bullheadedness rather than less sympathetic naivete. 20. The film was a box office hit, grossing over 91.9 million US dollars worldwide, 47.9 million dollars in North America. 21. Her next film, The Comedy You, Me, and Dupree, in which she appeared with Owen Wilson and Matt Dillon as one half of a couple who allows an unemployed friend to move in gross 21.5 million US dollars on its opening weekend of July 14, 2006. 22. It eventually made 130.4 million US dollars worldwide. 23. In 2007, Hudson directed the short film Cutlass, one of Glamour magazine's real moments based on readers' personal essays, which starred Kurt Russell, Dakota Fanning, Virginia Madsen, Chevy Chase, and Kristen Stewart. 24. In the romantic comedy Fool's Gold, 2008, her second film with Matthew McConaughey, Hudson took on the role a divorced woman who returns with her former husband while searching for a lost treasure. She was certified in scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef for the underwater scenes. The film made 111.2 million US dollars worldwide. 25, in My Best Friend's Girl, another romantic comedy released in 2008, Hudson played the colleague of an amiable guy, Jason Biggs. Despite negative reviews, it was a moderate commercial success. 26. Hudson starred in Bride Wars, 2009, 27, alongside Anne Hathaway, playing two best friends who become rivals after their weddings are scheduled on the same day. The film was named among the 10 worst chick flicks of all time by time in 2010, 28, but was successful financially, grossing 114.6 million US dollars globally. 29. Her next film was The Musical 9, directed by Rob Marshall, in which she played a Vogue fashion journalist, alongside Daniel Day-Lewis, Marion Cotillard, Penelope Cruz, Nicole Kidman, and Judi Dench. The film was acclaimed by critics and Hudson garnered praise for her dancing skills, showcased in a 1960s-inspired original piece called Cinema Italiano, which was written specifically for her character.